Hi friends, uh, welcome to GlobeMake. So today uh, I am going to show you how to design a staircase that is a dog legged staircase. So here we have a problem so that uh, a clear dimension of staircase is a uh, 2.4 meter into 4.75 meter floor height is 3.6 meter design an intermediate flight of a dog legged staircase using M20 concrete and FE415 steel take live load 3 kN per meter square assume that of landing span is in the same direction as the steel and is supported on the wall of 300 mm thickness at the ends sketch the reinforcement details so this is the given problem to design a staircase so our first step is arrangement of stair here we need to assume the riser height and thread width that is so if this is a staircase this thing is called a riser this thing is called thread okay this is a riser and this is a thread this thing we need to assume so we need to assume these two things so that is a riser 150 mm actually a riser ranges from 150 mm to 200 mm and thread rises uh, ranges from 250 mm to 300 mm uh, that is left to you because it is your design here I am assuming riser 150 mm and thread 250 mm so next so height of one flight is equal to total flow rate divided by number of flights so which is equal to total flow rate is given that is flow rate is 3.6 meter divided by number of flight we assume 2 flight therefore 2 so 1.8 meter is the one floor height next we need to find out how many numbers of risers do we need next step so one flight height is this one only 1.8 your by riser height is we assume riser 150 mm this is in meter therefore we need to do substitute this value is in also meter 0.15 this gives us to 12 number okay next number of threads in each flight is equal to uh, it will be equal to number of risers minus 1 that is total number of risers is 12 and minus 1 that is 11 number of threads and 12 number of risers are there uh, this thing is called slab that is called waste in slab uh, that we need to design now our next step is design of base slab we need to design this slab now so here we assume the thickness of slab d is equal to 150 mm therefore uh, what will be the effective depth that is the d minus effective cover here we assume effective cover as 20 mm so here effective depth is small d is d minus capital d that is overall depth minus effective cover here we assume effective cover as 20 mm so this d is 150 minus effective cover we assume 20 mm therefore small d is equal to 130 mm next step is load calculation here we need to find out what is the dead load of the waste slab that is so what is the load of this slab dead load of this slab okay so if we find dead load we will get actually inclined load so but we want horizontal load so that we need to calculate from the horizontal load formula so that i will tell later so now we will find the what is the dead load of this waste slab so dead load formula is dead load of waste slab ws is equal to so formula is b into b into m into 25 so b is always 1 meter and d is 0 0.15 15 d and l is always 1 meter and 25 is the density of concrete therefore we will get ws is equal to 3.75 kilo newton per meter square now this is the dead load of waste slab in inclined form but we want in horizontal form therefore next is load on horizontal slab so this is a formula to find out the load on horizontal slab w is equal to ws that is this one into square root of riser square plus thread square divided by thread 
so we'll substitute, substitute the values we will get 4.37 kilonewton done per meter square uh, this is this one is the load on horizontal slab that is w now we got the dead load of this slab but we need to find out what is the dead load of these steps right therefore next is dead load on each step so dead load on each step is nothing but actually area into density of concrete so now how the step looks like exactly similar to the triangle right this one is thread and this one is riser right now what is the area of this one so area this one is nothing but area of triangle that is half into base into height into density of concrete is 25 so 1 by 2 into base is nothing but thread only that is 0.25 into height is nothing but riser 0.15 into 25 and that you will get 0.468 kilonewton per meter square 0.468 kilonewton per meter square uh, this is the dead load on each step that means one step next we need to find out load on steps per meter length so load on step per meter length is equal to this load 0.468 into up to 1 meter is 1000 mm and 250 is the thread therefore we will get 1.875 kilo newton per meter square this one is the load on step per meter length per meter length means per 1000 mm found the load on steps all the steps that means we have got all the dead loads of this slab now we need to find out what is the live load what is the floor finish etc so next is live load here the live load is given that is 3 kilo newton per meter square and floor finish we will generally assume from 0.5 to 1.5 kilo newton per meter square here i will assume 0.5 kilo newton per meter square therefore what is the total load total load is equal to so first one waste slab load that is this is a waste slab load that is 4.37 plus 4.37 plus this load that is steps load 1.875 next what is the live load this one 3 plus what is the floor finish 0.5 so this total load will give rise to 9.75 kilo newton per meter square this is the total load so next we need to find out factor load that will be equal to total load into factor of safety so total load is this one 9.75 and factor of safety is always 1.5 so therefore factor load becomes 14.62 kilo newton per meter square is the factor load now these are the loads on inclined slab okay so this is the 14.62 km per meter square is the load on only inclined portion so not on landing not on this approach because here you have waste slab only there is no steps here here also you have only waste slab there is no steps here but when it comes to here we you have uh, waste slab also this steps also therefore you have more load on this inclined slab compared to this landing and approach okay now we need to find out what is the load on this landing so both are same similar almost so we need to calculate what is the load on landing so next step is step 4 load on landing here we take waste slab thickness at landing d is equal to 150 mm that is same as the this slab thickness assume thickness of this thing only we assume here also self weight of slab b into d into l into 25 b is always 1 this 0.15 del is always 1 25 
you will get value 3.75 kilo newton per meter square okay now there is no steps therefore no not necessary to do the load on steps now because uh, at landing you will not find any steps next step is live load so live load is given that is 3 kilo newton per meter square floor finish is same 0.5 kilo newton per meter square next is you need to find total load same as the previous 3.75 plus 3 high load plus 0.5 floor finish total load is 3.25 kilo newton per meter square and factor load is equal to this load into factor of safety that is 10.875 kilo newton per meter square this is the load on landing and approach this is the load on inclined steps okay 